Hey guys, this is Pete from Pete's Two Cents dot com. Uh, today is June twenty fifth, two thousand nine. I'm here looking at a couple of uh, things in the market. Uh, obviously, you see the market is uh, getting some legs after the last couple of days being uh, brought down into negative territory. But uh, at least we're at one hundred forty eight points plus uh, what I'm seeing as of right now. And that's fantastic. Uh, I don't like the swings too much. 100 points up, 100 points down. It uh, it concerns me because we're getting into the old bad habits of uh, last year. Uh, and those swings are great for day trading, but if you're swing trading, which I'm more of a swing trader, it's a little bit of a concern because if you don't uh, buy accurately, you know, it gets you a little nervous. You can lose a little money if you're impatient. Um, so it's not a good thing. I'd rather see 20, 30, 40 points up and down and then either on an uptrend or um, downtrend. The overall market, the Dow and the S&P, are both meeting at the 50 and the 200-day line. So it's very undecisive at this moment if we're going to go into negative territory or if we're going to go into positive territory. If I had to take an educated guess after what I'm seeing the government doing and uh, all the other uh, data that I'm, I'm researching, I would have to say we're going to get a good bounce off the 50 and the 200 in the overall market. Uh, that's the Dow, the S&P, and the NASDAQ. And we're going to go back into a, a, a bull rally, and uh, we're going to start uh, making some money like we used to. So uh, that's my educated guess. Unemployment came out today, still negative. Um, my uh, guesstimate for the last, I think, 10 months has been 10.4%. I think that's where we're going to peak. It may go a little bit higher. I follow a couple of uh, economists that, um, you know, we, we all have the same tendency as far as thinking patterns. So uh, I'm shooting for 10.4%. Uh, remember, the, um, the stock market overall is a lagging indicator. So in other words, the the overall community the public will not see uh what we're seeing in the markets for maybe six to nine months so i mean the market in my opinion is turning into positive territory it's a it's a big ocean liner so it takes a little bit of a of a large turn uh to turn it's not like a ferrari it's going to turn on a dime so got to be patient but uh, there is money to be made uh, a lot of stocks have rallied for the last four to five months so i think that's a good thing uh, this morning's pick right now is Itaú, which is a Brazilian. Let me pull that up. I thought I had that up already. Hold on one second. <clears throat> We're looking at PBR there, which is Petrobras, one of my favorite stocks. Um, Banco Itaú, which is a Brazilian bank stock, um, symbol ITUB. They just changed the symbol. It used to be ITU, but now it's ITUB is also writing the 50-day. I think it's a perfect, uh, in, in perfect position to buy at this point. Um, balance sheet looks strong. Uh, earnings look strong. Uh, they have a small dividend, you know, half a percent, which is okay. I mean, they're giving back to the shareholders. But as far as technical, um, writing the 50-day for that small bounce, I love uh, buying on the 50-day. So, uh, there we're, that's where we're at right now. If you see this chart, it's right on the 50-day. It's above the 200, so we're in positive territory. I think this is a great buy. It's, um, it's already rallying at $1.08 today, so I wouldn't buy it at this point. I would wait for a pullback. If you're not worried about it, you can buy a couple of shares now. It may continue to rally. I've seen stocks that are up a dollar, two dollars, and then they continue an additional dollar, two dollars. So it's really up to you you know what your your risk taking pattern is uh but it is right now as i'm looking at it at a dollar seven up so you can either purchase a few shares and uh, gamble that way and if it rides up you know let it ride up and make a small profit or wait for a pullback and purchase i think there's a lot of room for this stock and can go probably into the 60s into the 70s it is a strong stock as i stated before so uh, i see no problems here um any questions or comments are always uh, accepted. You can see me at Pete'sTwoCents.com or on Ustream. And um, that's it for now. I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. This is Pete from Pete'sTwoCents.com.